It was a strange sight, this glowing up on the hillside. It was so uncommon that this shepherd was, was convinced that he needed to go take a look at this. As he climbed the rocky slope, the glow got brighter and brighter, and as he, as he crested a ridge, he saw a common thorn bush, common to this area of the desert. But what was uncommon was the fire within it. I know you know the story, Moses. What I want you to remember is God was in that thorn bush. Another story. On top of a mountain is a man and his son. It's the time of sacrifice, and at God's command, this man is to sacrifice his son. And as he begins to drop the knife to perform the sacrifice, God stops him and says, look, look across to the other hill. And so he does, and he sees a ram caught in a thorn bush. Now we know that this ram represents Jesus, God, again, in the thorns. Genesis 3 tells us that one of the curses of sin was that thorns would plague us the rest of our life. Uh, you may have had this experience that thorns are just constantly picking at you. Let me tell you a third story. A man stands accused. He's tried. He's sentenced. Today will be his last day on earth. He's turned over to the soldiers to perform the execution. But it's not enough for the soldiers just to, just to crucify this individual. No, they want to mock him. He claimed to be a king, they say. And so they fashioned a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they worshipped him, mocked him, cursed at him, spit upon him. And Jesus endured all of that. Again, God was in the thorns. This year at Campion Academy, I'm going to strive to help us remember that whatever troubles, whatever thorns come up at our school, that we will turn and remember these stories, that God is in the thorns with us. He never promised to take thorns away. We know that. We know that we have troubles, but God promised to be with us in the thorn bush. So it might be people, it might be events, it might be circumstances that are sticking it to you. Whatever it is, I encourage you today to remember these stories and remember that God is with you in the thorns.